so welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 maths and in this video we'll be continuing with our series of looking at AQA GCSE maths foundation topic tests with the focus of percentages and looking at calculator questions now as always there'll be a copy of the test in the description below for you to either have an attempt at before watching this video or while watching this video as we go through the answers now before we get started working through these questions there is no indication whether the questions relate to non-calculator or calculator paper questions so however looking over the questions i would heavily assume that all the questions are going to be calculator allowed so let's get started on the first one so the very first question says circle the multiplier that is equivalent to the percentage increase of 15 percent so again remember that when doing decimal multiplies you always start with 100 percent we're adding on 15% because we're increasing. That gives us a total of 115%, and that as a decimal is 1.15, which is our fourth option. Question two then says that a train fare costs 23 pounds 55 pence. All train fares are increased by 2.8%. Work out the new fare. So the first thing we want to do is work out the decimal multiplier. So again, start with 100, add 2.8, which gives us 102.8. And then we then want to convert that as a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left, that so gives us 1.028. Then to work out the new train fare, I multiply the original cost, which is £23.55, and I multiply that by 1.028. And if I enter that all into my calculator, I get an answer of 24.2094. Now with this, you always want to round money questions to two decimal places. So the correct answer we're going to have is £24.21. Moving on to question three, it says that a savings account pays 3.6 per annum simple interest. Heidi puts £400 in her account. How much will she have in her account after five years? Now for this, this is not a compound interest question. This is a simple interest question and annum just means per year so let me just change that word for year now simple interest basically means that you work out the first year and that interest amount does not change so what i need to do is work out what 3.6 percent of 400 pounds is going to be so this then is going to be 0 0.036 multiplied by 400 now if you're ever unsure about what the decimal multiplier is going to be just simply divide it by 100 and press equals on your calculator or alternately move the decimal point two places to the left so entering 0 0.036 multiplied by 400 and that gives me an answer of 14 pounds 40. So that means that i'm going to be, or uh, heidi is going to be getting £14.40 every year. So then to work out how much will she have after five years, well, I need to multiply the interest amount by £14.40. So five times 14.4 gives me £72. And then I've got to add that to the original amount, which is 400, giving Heidi a nice tidy sum of £472. Moving on to question four, it says shop A has an all price of £85, it's got third off. Shop B is normal price £80 with 30% off, which in which shop are the trainers cheaper? So looking at shop A, we want to take a third off £85, so it's going to be 85 divided by 3 multiplied by 1, which is just the same as 85 divided by 3, and that comes up to a cost of saving um 28 pounds and 33 pence so then to work out the cost of the trainers it's going to be 85 minus 28.33 which comes up to 56 pounds and 67 pence so then working out for shop b we want to take 30% off. So again, if we look at decimal multipliers, now again, you could work out what 30% of 80 is and then take it away from 80 pounds. That's absolutely fine. But working out shop B is simply, it's just 80 pounds, then 100%, take away 30%, 70%. So if I multiply that by 0 0.7, I get an answer of 56 pounds. Now again, if you wanted to, 10% is going to be uh, eight pounds, so she's getting 24 pounds off. So it's going to be 80 minus 24, 
which equals 56 pounds so which shop is it cheaper it's going to be shop b unless there's a q question five says in one week the mess of the mass of a puppy rather that's going to be a bit of a dodgy question if it was mess the mass of a puppy increases by from 1.8 kilograms to 2.25 kilograms work out the percentage increase of the mass now for percentage change the formula is the difference divided by the original multiplied by 100 so we need to work out the difference between the two weights that's going to be 2.25 minus 1.8. Again, you could easily do this in one simple calculation, but I'm going to take my time um, and work it out separately. So that's going to be 0 0.45 kilograms. And the original is 1.8. So it's going to be 0 0.45 divided by 1.8 multiplied by 100. And if I enter all of that into my calculator, I get an answer of 25%. Moving on to question six, it says, in a sale, all items are reduced by 30%. On the final day, the sales price is reduced by 20%. Work out the final day price that was priced at 290 before the sale, the sale started. So here we're looking at a sofa. So what we wanna do is we wanna take off 30% first. So looking at the first one, so let's just write down the cost of the sofa. Now. In the sale it's 30 percent so again 100 take away 30 is 70 so we want to multiply that by 0 0.70 or 0 0.7 now for this then we then want to do 100 take away 20 multiplied by 0 0.8 so then we multiply that again by 0 0.8 and if i type that all into my calculator 0 0.7 times 0 0.8 and i get a final answer that so far sale price is going to be 162 and 40 pence now if you did it another way and you still came up with an answer of 162.4 then you should get all three marks um, and just make sure you are showing clear working out now for question seven it says here is an advert for a new car and it says why pay cash our credit charges less are less than two percent of the cash price each year and we've got cash price and we've got credit price and it then says is the claim of the advert true now this question is worth four marks we need to show a decent amount of working out and again there's going to be more than one way of working this out and i'll try and show you the different ways in which you can do this uh, to get the four marks but again, I don't want to draw out too much. So as long as you're getting the correct same answer and you're showing justifiable evidence, you're going to be fine. So looking at method one, I'll do it in different colors. So the first thing we want to do is work out what is the total price of the credit. So the total credit price. So looking at this, now the deposit is 1350. And then I need to add 24 payments of, so that's 24 payments of 191. 0.36 and after that i then need to pay 400 4000 rather 887 pounds and 50 pence so if i do all of that on my calculator 1350 plus bracket 24 times 191.36 plus 4887.5 and i come up with an answer of the total price on credit i'll be paying is what one zero eight three zero and fourteen pence. So then, looking at the cash price. So looking at this, so comparing the cash uh, the cash price is one zero three four five. Now, what I could do is I could use percentage change. Now, over two years, we're looking at four percent. So over four years equals less. Sorry, two years rather. I'm getting the years and percentage mixed up. So over two years, I'm looking for less than 4% of the cash price. So looking at this, we're using the previous formula percentage change. If I work out the difference, let me just use a different color. So the difference is 10830.14 minus 103.45, all divided by the original, which is 103.45 and I multiply that by 100, I will work out the percentage change. So if I take away 10345, divide that by 10345, multiply it by 100, and that comes up to 4.68%. So here we can say that no, the claim is false. 
as 4.68 is greater than 4. Now that's just one way of us working out. Now what another way of working out is to work out what the monthly payments are going to be. So monthly, the cash price over two years is going to be 10345 divided by 24 months. So 10345 divided by 24 and that comes up to a monthly payment of around 431 and 40 and four pence. I'm going to put five pence just so that we actually do pay the car off. So actually it is full, so let's just change that to a full. So then looking at the credit price altogether, so the credit price, the total amount payable is 10830.14 and that's just same from the calculation that's in pink. So if I then divide that amount by 24, so 10830.14 divided by 24 and that comes up to a monthly payment of 451.26. Now again, if I work out the difference between these two amounts, so again, four, five, oh, let's do it in a different color. So 451.26 minus 431.04, all divided by 431.04, multiplied by 100. And let's just quickly do that on the calculator. And again, it comes up with an answer of 4.7% which is exactly the same as there. So again, the claim is not true as 4.7 is greater than 4. So any of those two methods, along with any other method that you may have decided, as long as you show that the percentage over the two years is greater than the 4%, you should be absolutely fine. And moving on to our last question, it says, after a 10% decrease, the cost of a new cooker is £198. Work out the original price of the cooker. So if we look at this in terms of the old price and we've got the new price. Now, the old price to the new price has been, a 10% 10, 10 has been taken off. It's a 10% decrease. Now, 10% decrease as a decimal is 100%, take away 10% which equals 90%, and that as a decimal is 0 0.90. So here we're multiplying by 0 0.9. Now, if I know the new price, which I do know is 198, and I want to work out what the old price is, then I've got to do the opposite of multiplying by 0 0.9, and the opposite of multiplying by 0 0.9 is to divide by 0 0.9. So the working out I need to do is 198, divided by 0.9. Now, using your common sense, you should notice that the answer I'm looking for, because I want the original price and the price of the cooker has come down in price, I'm looking for an answer that's bigger than 198. So if I end up with an answer that's smaller than 1.98, I've definitely done something wrong. And if I enter that calcula calculation on the calculator, I get the correct answer of £220.